Hi everyone and welcome back to Queen G's Recipes and today we are going to be making a tres leches cake. So wonderful, easy to make, very, very delicious. And um, today I'm going to be showing you how I like to make it. So the ingredients we'll be needing just for the cake here is some all-purpose flour, some baking powder, some salt, a little bit of cinnamon. We'll need some half and half cream, some sugar, here we have some butter which we will be melting, some eggs, so what I have is some eggs here that I have separated. You will also need some ingredients for the um, three milks and you will also need some ingredients for the topping which will be a freshly whipped cream and it will be just wonderful. Okay, so for the flour here, I am using some cake flour, but if you don't have any cake flour, that's fine. You can substitute it with um, just regular all-purpose flour. Okay, so you will also need a nine by 13 inch baking dish, um, making sure that it is well greased. And you also wanna have your oven preheating to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And let's move on to making our cake. Okay, so I didn't mention it, and it is most definitely optional, but into our egg whites, I like to add in a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar. It does stabilize the egg whites. So now we will whip up our egg whites, and I'm going to add in the cream of tartar here. And we will whip these up to firm peaks. Okay, so our egg whites look great, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my egg whites from my bowl here, place it into a separate clean bowl, and just set it aside until we need it. Okay, so I don't feel there is any need to wash your bowl, so what we are going to do now is add in our egg yolks. Okay. And we will add in our sugar and our vanilla extract. And we will give this a good whisk. Okay, so your mixture will be crumbly at this stage, but that is totally normal. So at this time, we will add in our melted butter. So I have already melted my butter. And we will also add in our half and half cream. And mix these ingredients well till well combined. Okay, so once those ingredients are well combined, we are ready to sift in our dry ingredients. And now we are ready to fold in our egg whites into our mixture with a spatula, making sure that we don't lose any of the air that we created in our egg whites. Okay, so we are going to place our cake in our preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 minutes or when a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. Okay, so my cake baked for exactly 33 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And now we are going to allow it to cool for about 10 to 12 minutes. I'm going to set it aside and we are going to work on our three milk mixture. Okay, so for our three milk mixture, what I have here is one can of sweetened condensed milk, we have some regular milk, and we have some evaporated milk. I'm going to place this into a bowl and we're going to whisk this well until all the three ingredients are well combined, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay. 
Okay, so now we want to prick a lot of holes into our cake because we want the three milks to seep into every hole and make our cake very, very moist and wet. And it's just gonna be wonderful. I'm just going to be using here a large fork that I have because it is, um, it will go deeper. And uh, just a skewer, regular uh, fork will be fine. So I'm just going to prick some holes here and then we will very carefully place our three milk mixture on top. Okay, so I'm going to cover my cake here with some plastic wrap and we are going to chill it in the fridge for two hours. Once the two hours are up, I will show you the next step. Okay, so our cake has been in the fridge for two hours and now it's time to work on our topping. So what I have here is one cup of heavy whipping cream. I have two tablespoons of icing sugar, also known as powdered sugar, and we have a little bit of vanilla extract. So it's as easy as that. We are going to add in our heavy cream. Okay, we're going to add in our powdered sugar and about a quarter to a half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract, very minimal amount because you don't want to discolor your uh, freshly whipped cream once it's done. So we're going to whip this until we have some nice soft to medium peaks. Okay, so our fresh whipped cream is ready. It looks great. And what we're going to do is we're going to spread it all over our cake and then we're going to dust it very lightly with a little bit of cinnamon. It is definitely wonderful, it is so good. Definitely very, very moist. You can see the uh, liquid from the uh, three milks that we placed in our cake and it will keep soaking it up as it sits in the fridge. So most definitely to be kept in the fridge. It is just perfect. Now you can also top it with some fresh fruits if you like. I just like to add a little bit of cinnamon because it adds a little something extra and it makes it even more wonderful if that's even possible. So that's about it. Very easy to make and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a nice big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload a new and delicious recipe. Share the recipe with your family and friends and I'll see you in my next video. Take care, bye everyone.